What is up, guys? This is your boy Phil Shocker, the 90 States Hedgehog here with our Week 19 Builder of WWC. If you guys wonder why it wasn't here last week or any other week, you that. We did take a one week break off from the season. As it stands right now, there is literally no chance of me making playoffs after what happened against Savage. The only type of chance I had is if anyone who was five and five, whoever's like five and something, lose out and I win the rest of my games. There's legit, in my mind, there is legitimate because I face Checkmate, who is the coach of the Techingham or whatever, Pessimian, sorry if I butchered the name, Checkmate. And then I have to face Photon, which are second and third place coaches. Well, technically, Photon's not third place, but he has to foul Zach and. If Photon wins, then he goes back to being in second or third place in the playoff swats. But, yeah, we're looking um, pretty much out of the chances. And there's actually a stipulation going on. Whoever the bottom four coaches are for this season are demoted to Alpha. And I am just almost in that range of being demoted. And to be fair, I wouldn't be mad if I did get demoted. But I still have a couple, like, still got four games left. I got to face Checkmate. I got to face Photon next week. And then I got Matthias, I believe, after that. And then I have Zach. And me and Zach, I think above agree that we're just going to bring some fun sets and somewhat meme and not really do care. But that's that's when we get to that week. But let's talk about Checkmate's team. Checkmate is currently the second best team in the league. He's only lost to one game. I think it came down to hacks or something like that. But let's check break out the Texas team. He's got a G-Max for his Pokemon of choice, and it's Grimmsnarl. This is one of the, again, like I said, has been one of the best, if not is by far the number one G-Max that is hard to beat in draft league. Um, the rest of his team goes, he's got Terrakion, Corviknight, Darmanitan, Needlequeen, Rotom Wash, Latias, Venomoth, Superior, Omastar, and then the two somewhat kind of joke picks in Dunsport. Dunsparce and Glaceon. Uh, Glaceon and Dunsparce I really don't see coming. I really kind of don't see Omastar coming unless he really wants to stack the hazards on me, which very well could be something he would con potentially consider doing since I do have very little of hazard removal. But with something like my team having a ground to poison type, I don't know if that's the way he wants to go. Uh, Superior is something I can maybe see him bring. It's going to have to most likely probably be a choice of Superior, but the problem is Superior doesn't check any of my, doesn't check my Kappa Raja, and it can't really beat my Rebombi in a sense unless it's physical, and it can't beat my Appleton unless it has got Dragon Pulse, which I think pressures it too much. Venomoth is something I can see him bring over something else, over Needle Queen, if anything, but I don't really see Venomoth coming. Um, and Latias is definitely something I can totally see him bringing. But I just don't know if it's really right for him to bring it against my team. Unless he's confident knowing the team I'm exactly going to bring. But the main six I see is definitely a G-Max. His G-Max is just so frightening for my team. Darmanitan and I have no safe switches to. Carbonite set up and really mixed defensive could be a problem. It's 50-50 if he is going to be choice scarf on that Terrakion. If it is, it's definitely going to be made to outspeed my Dracovish. Um, Needle Queen, I think, comes because if not, Electric Spam pretty much just goes wild on his team. And Rotom Wash, I think, that comes as probably a Rocky Helmet user with Will O Wisp, Volt Switch, Hydro Pump, and potentially either Pain Split or Toxic to really whittle down my team and also to check the Drake of Fish. So let's break down the team we have this week going against Checkmate. First off, we've got our Mr. Vish, who's actually done really well for us. I think is like tied and is killed in deaths and stuff like that. And uh, I'm not going to lie, I've really loved using Dracovish. Dracovish is a fantastic Pokemon. Uh, we're bringing the Choice Scarf this week. with Vicious Ren, Outreach, Facade, Crunch. Pretty much the same three moves we're able to bring pretty much every single week. And that's one thing I always want my opponents to always fear is I am always willing to bring Facade versus them. Just because it just puts in so much work against them. It really does. Uh, Vicious Ren basically doesn't have really good switch-ins on his team, even if they want to bring him in. Outrage is really spinnable once the Corviknight is either severely weakened and once the Grim Snarl is gone. Facade is, like I said, really good, so that way we can pretty much just spam that move once we're burned or toxic. And then Crunch. I pretty much put Crunch on there. That way I can lock into something that's not Vicious Rend and to just see how much damage I can do. And plus, it's decent damage to get on the Latios, Latias and uh, I think a few other of his mons. 
Uh, we're running enough speed to where we outspeed the max speed superior, 120 in HP for some bulk and max attack. I'm not sure bring Guitar Hero, who really is probably the win con, and I really need to try to play this mod really well. Because if we play this mod well, we can win the game. If I can just get a small bit of chip damage on that Needle Queen, and then get a shift gear before it comes in, Boom Burst one shots it, and then Overdrive plus Sludge Wave plus Boom Burst will ruin his team severely. We have enough speed, I believe, to outspeed each choice scarf Terrakion, which should let me outspeed his entirety of his team. Boom Burst, Overdrive, Sludge Wave, like I said, just beats him so much. We're running a little risky with the Life Orb. It is a little risky, but I know it is what we need. We're running Modest Nature with Max Special Attack, 48 in HP for the total of the bulk we can get for it. So this one is very important. I really, really wish we can play Tasha Sorirakas. It's really upsetting me that I haven't played this mod great. I really love this mod, but I just haven't been using it the best. So I hope I can do it this route this week. I'm actually bringing Tinkerbell with the focus sash this week. Moonblast, Psychic, Quiver Dance, Sticky Web, 120 HP for some bulk. Max special attack and enough speed to outspeed the Terrakion. Basically, we outspeed everything except Superior. I didn't count for Superior because Superior I don't think is going to come. And if it does, it has to run aerially if it's going to do anything against me. So there was that. Uh, pretty much Moonblast and Psychic is all I really need in this team. Once Corviknight is severely weakened into a, where I get a plus one Quiver and do some damage, then I can take out Qu Corviknight with my Moonblast from there. Psychic, if we get some chip damage off on that Darmanitan, and we get our Quiver Dance up before any hazards and stuff are set up on my field, I can cripple it down to where a plus one Psychic can kill it has to get in between the 50 and 60 percent range in order for you to kill a plus one or if we get a crit so that's really really clutch we are running shield dust so that we do not get burned even though if he is sheer force there's still a chance to get burned from it so i'm gonna make sure we do not get burned from that but basically this mine actually really goes in against his entire team if he is not careful we really gotta just try our best to try to beat down his team the best that we can and if not, try to get this thing set up early game or try to get it like mid game and then just try to break his team. Focus Sash so I can live any one hit from an entirety of his team. Or if I feel like I just need to hit this mon, I'm going to hit it, live any hit, and just kill it from right, right there. Up next, we're bringing Gladiator or Surf Fetch. And it's another mon that just punches so many holes in his team. We're running Choice Scarf with Leaf Blade, Close Combat, Night Slash, and Facade. Night Slash is there in case the Latios does come. So we're prepped for that. Leaf Blade is there specifically for the Rotom and Needle Queen, so I can lock into that comfortably if I really feel like it. Um, facade, like I said, in case we get burned or toxic. And mainly close combat. There's no safe switches to close combat on this entire team. And that's what I love about this mod. It just clicks buttons. And we're running Choice Scarf because I don't think he's expecting Choice Scarf. I think he'll expect Choice Banded. Uh, we have actually enough speed to outspeed max speed Terrakion. So pretty much we'll outspeed his entire team, except the Scarfers of Darmanitan, and if it is a Scarf, Terrakion. Up next, we're bringing Willpower as of, it really goes in there, and this is a set I think will seriously put in the work. We're running enough speed to outspeed Terrakion, in case it is choice banded in any such way of its Scarf, that's a really good clarification for us. We're running max special attack, 56 in speed up for just a tiny bit of bulk, we have sub psychic. Stasm Gleam and Flamethrower. Now, the reason I'm running Flamethrower is it lets me hit both the Corviknight and the... It lets me hit the Corviknight. I could have went with Thunderbolt, but with Flamethrower, it lets me have a chance to not only snag a burn, but it's more better in case the Superior and the Whims and the um, Venomoff come, because then I can lockly click in Flamethrower instead of clicking Psychic on Protection of Switches and stuff like that. Thunderbolt would be better. I might think about changing it to Thunderbolt, but I think Flamethrower is the best option to go for this route. Uh, we might also change it to Fire Blast if I really think I need it. But basically, this wants to set up sub and then click buttons versus team. Try to set up subs before anything else in the Dream Snarl and try to waste the D-Max turns. Last but not least, we have Ellie, and this is such a risky set. I don't know if I like this. We are running Heavy Metal, which is definitely the right set to bring this week. I know that for a fact. 100 HP, 180 attack, Adamant Nature, 124 in defense, and 104 in Spadef. Basically, you're running Lumberry to not get burned. Burn is basically from a Darm or from the Rotom. We have enough, pretty much, with this attack investment. I believe we do not actually knock out Rotom. But the goal is to weaken Rotom or something like that. And then just click buttons versus it. Actually, we might just make this max attack just so we get a maximum amount of attack quality or stuff like that. Uh, I'll change that. But that's going to be the team, guys. I hope we can pick up a win. I want to at least pick up one or two more wins. 
But while being said, I'm Phil Shuckin, nice to touch you all. Thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time, guys, peace.